today started off pretty good. And then I went to the post office and took the kids. We went grocery shopping. Kind of had a, had a normal day. And then got home and started opening some of the mail. And Got more postcards for Sarah. <sighs> On the way home, Rayla's asking for mommy. <laughs> and I miss her so much. I just put Rayla down for a nap. Braden's in playing video games. Started opening the mail and just broke. Little things. Somebody sent us some wind chimes, which is amazing. I know how much Sarah loved the ones that we have and so these will go up with those ones <sighs> would do anything <laughs> absolutely anything to bring her back <laughs> and I know it's not possible I know it's not happening. I know I gotta keep moving forward. But damn, it's hard. And after this moment, because this isn't the first time I've broken down, <laughs> I'm gonna be drained. I gotta convince my mind and body to still do the parent stuff to still go in and take care of the kids and <laughs> it feels like the rest of the day I'm just gonna be like just trying to keep it together for them I know I don't have to, and I know it's okay to cry in front of them, and I do, and they cry with me, and all that. <laughs> but uh, it's just so hard. It's not, it's not what I want to do. I want to have fun. I want to smile. I want to hear her voice. I want to see her walk through the door. <sighs> One more dance. <laughs> One more song. <sighs> One more snuggle with the kids. my best friend she is my everything <sighs> and I know she's in my heart but <sighs> anybody that lost someone knows that that's just not enough. It's just not. And on that note,
it is time to finish putting the groceries away <laughs> right take a little time to myself while Raylan naps and then back to whatever's next And Sarah's words, be kind, make good choices.